Hi, I'm Chris, the founder of Jamstack. Thank you so much for trusting us with your purchase. We know you'd be glad you did. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through getting started so that you have a great first experience with this innovative and radically different guitar amplifier. All of this information can also be found at jamstack.io slash resources. In this video, we're gonna go over charging, attaching the Jamstack, installing your smartphone, plugging in the cables, as well as introducing you to some exciting things you can do with software. Also, at the end of the video, we're gonna go over some tips and tricks to make sure you're getting the most out of your Jamstack. You can skip to any of these sections by clicking on the time code in the top pinned comment. First, let's make sure your Jamstack has some battery. You can always tell by turning it on and seeing the color of the light above the volume knob. When it's green, that means it's almost full, yellow about half, and when it's red, you should think about charging it. When it's blinking red, that means you've got less than 10% battery. If it needs charging, make sure to use the AC adapter provided and plug it into the circular plug at the bottom. Don't try and charge your Jamstack through the USB-C port. That's only for your smartphone. Here's the easiest way to mount the Jamstack on your guitar. Lay your guitar on your lap with the Jamstack in one hand. Firmly press the gray release button and take the rubber pad Put it on the back of your guitar, lift up, over the strap button, and let go. The rubber material is TPE and used in guitar stands, so it won't damage your guitar's finish. Even though there are a few basic styles, there are actually hundreds of small variations in strap buttons used on guitars. If you have any issue with how the jam stack mounts on your guitar, we recommend replacing the strap button with the one provided. To remove the jam stack, firmly press the spring release button, lift up, and away from the guitar. When removing the jam stack, it's important that you don't twist like this. Lift up and out. Now it's time to install the phone mount. The phone mount can go in two positions. One is the top, if you just want to set it and forget it, or the bottom for a better viewing angle. The mount works best when the movable grip is on the side of the jam stack. For left-handed guitar players, simply unscrew the thumb screw and flip the phone mount around. To insert your phone, slide it in as shown. Make sure that the volume knob is not getting pressed in by the handles. Some apps work better in landscape mode, so you can rotate like this. Angle the phone exactly how you want it and tighten the knob to adjust the friction. Do not wedge the phone mount in the jam stack before it's attached to the guitar. It could get stuck. Now it's time to plug in the cables. I like to start with the patch cord. Take your guitar cable, plug it into your guitar like so. Then plug it into the back of the jam stack. Next, grab the phone cable for your smartphone. We provided you with three cables, a lightning cable, a USB-C cable, and a micro USB cable. Take the one that's right for your phone and plug it into the port. If you're using the iPhone, make sure the two white cables are attached together. Next, Plug in the USB-C port in the bottom of your jam stack, and you're good to go. Now that we're all set up, let's download some software. You can scan the QR code on the Quick Start Guide, or just go to jamstack.io slash software for a great list of recommended apps. Make sure your jam stack's on by rotating the power knob counterclockwise. Jamstack has three modes, Bluetooth mode, guitar mode, and bypass mode. Right now I'm in guitar mode. The modes will switch automatically depending on what cables you have plugged into the back of the jam stack, but if you ever want to override that, just hold down the button and switch modes. Here's a brief introduction to some things you can do with the jam stack. Thank 
always new apps and updates coming out every few weeks, so always be on the hunt for new features. We'll be putting out tutorials in the future, but for advice on using those individual apps, go to their respective websites. Like with any guitar setup, getting the best tone takes a bit of experimentation. Spend some time with the levels in the app until you get the best tone for your guitar. Most apps will remember these settings for immediate access in the future. Individual adjustments to the guitar or the music can be made on your smartphone whereas the volume knob acts as a master volume. Now remember, the Jamstack will amplify and modify whatever you plug into it. This can include your acoustic guitar, your voice, your electric violin, your drum kit, or your keyboard. There's incredible software for learning the piano in particular that works a lot better when your smartphone or tablet is plugged in. Also, when the Jamstack is off your guitar, feel free to use a tablet for an even bigger screen. Guitar racks that suspend your guitar allow you to actually leave the jam stack on, which makes setup even faster. Using the carabiner provided, you can quickly attach a carrying case onto other bags, such as soft cases, and carry your guitar and your amp hands-free. Also remember, the jam stack is an ultra-premium Bluetooth speaker, so bring it with you on your next outing. Last but not least, remember, you can do more now. Play out in the park, bring it to a friend's house, or mix it up at the campfire. Part of the fun of the Jamstack is realizing that you can do a lot of things that just weren't practical before. And please, when you do, share it with us. We love nothing more than seeing people enjoying the Jamstack out in the wild. Thank you again from the entire team. We cannot wait to see what you do with your Jamstack.